The multiplication of integers are the basic operations performed on integers. Multiplication of integers is the same as the repetitive addition, which means adding an integer a specific number of times. For example, 4 times 3 means adding 4 three times, like 4 plus 4 plus 4 is equal to 12. Let us learn more about the multiplication of integers in this video. In this lesson, you will be able to perform multiplication on integers and also solve problems involving integers. So let's get through it. So we have rules in multiplying integers. Tatlong bagay na kailangan nating matandaan bago tayo magmultiply ng integers. Okay? So we have S, D, O or 0. So S stands for same sign. So what does it mean? When you multiply two numbers with the same sign, the product is positive. For example, itong integer na to na positive, imumultiply mo sa pares na positive integer. The, the answer would be a positive integer. Okay? Same goes the other way. Negative times negative, the product would be a positive. So basically, same sign. Kapag pinagmultiply natin, that is a positive. Tandaan natin yung first rule. Pangalawang rule, we have D. D stands for different sign. So when we say different sign, when you multiply two numbers with different signs, the product is negative. So like this one, a positive integer being multiplied to a negative integer, ang sagot ay negative integer. Ganun din kapag pinagbaliktad natin sila. We have negative, we have negative, times a positive. Yes, that is a negative uh, answer. Okay, or negative integer. So, different sign, kapag pinagmultiply, palaging negative ang sagot. Okay, and lastly, the zero. Ganito lang yung zero, no? Kapag yung zero, minultiply mo kay any number, the answer would be zero. Ganun din kapag pinagbaliktad natin. Ang any number, kapag minultiply mo sa zero, ang sagot ay palaging zero. So, that is the third rule. Okay? So, moving on. Okay, let's try this first example. Multiply. Multiply 6 times 9. And yes, okay? So, alam natin. Alam ko na alam nyo yung sagot dyan. Pero let us use the multiplication of integers for this uh, example. Okay? So, pipili lang tayo ng, ng, ng isa sa tatlo dito. No? So, una, identify muna natin kung anong uri ng integers ang meron si 6. Ito ba ay positive or negative? Yes, that is a positive. This one is also a positive integer. So, alin siya dito? Ang pipiliin natin dahil pare silang positive ay yung same sign. So, pipiliin natin si S. Okay? Alam natin kapag kakinuha natin ang product ng dalawang sign na parehas, ang sagot ay palaging positive. At yung pinakahuling gagawin natin dyan, no? since the product is positive because the sign of the factors is the same, are the same, okay? imumultiply na lang natin silang dalawa. So, 6 times 9 is equal to 54. I put positive uh, sign here para ma-emphasize ko na positive ang sagot natin. Dahil parehas ang kanilang sign. Okay? So, that is the first example. Let us try more. Subukan naman natin itong given na to. So, negative 7 times negative 6. Okay? First step, identify natin muna kung anong uri ng integer ang meron yung first term natin. So, negative 7, yan ba ay positive or negative? Very good. That is negative integer. Ito ay negative integer as well. Okay? Parehas ba sila or magkaiba? So, since parehas po silang negative integer, ang pipiliin po natin ay yung same sign pa rin. At i-expect natin na ang sagot ay positive. From the rule, no? Since the product is positive, no? Because the signs of the factors are the same. So, positive ang sagot natin dahil parehas po ang kanilang 
uh, sign. So, ang gagawin na lang natin dyan, imumultiply nyo na lang yung dalawang numbers. So, 7 times 6 is equal to 42. This one is a positive 42. Pero, pwede nyo nang tanggalin ng positive, no? Kapag ilalagay nyo na po yung final answer. So, that will be our, our final answer in this given. Okay? So, napakadali lang, no? So, let us try the third example. Okay? The third example is this one. Negative 8 times positive 5. Okay? So, negative 8 times positive 5, tignan natin yung sign ni, neg uh, ni, ni first term. So, this one is a negative integer. This one is a positive integer. So, therefore, yan ay magkaiba or different sign. At ang sabi sa rule, kapag ka magkaiba daw ang kanilang sign, palaging negative daw po ang kanilang sagot. Okay? So, the product is negative because the signs of the factors are different. Okay? Ito ay negative, ito ay positive. So, try na natin i-multiply silang dalawa. So, 8 times 5. So, that would be 440, right? At ang sagot natin ay negative 40 dahil magkaiba ang kanilang sign. Okay? So, I know, no? This would be our last example for this particular given. So, we have negative 2. Medyo liitan natin ng konti. Negative 2 times negative 3 times positive 5. So, paano kaya yan, no? Tatlo na po yung terms natin. So, ang gagawin natin dyan, first is, imumultiply muna natin itong dalawa. Okay? So, negative 2 times negative 3. Negative 2 is a negative integer. Negative 3 is a negative integer. Tignan natin kung anong magagawa natin dyan. Negative 2 times negative 3 is a positive 6. Same sign po sila, right? So, positive ang sagot. Next is, imumultiply natin yung natira. So, 6 times 5, since pares din po ang kanilang sign, so, expect natin ang sagot ay positive din, right? So, 6 times 5, basically, that is positive 30. And that should be our final answer.